Okay, I thought about Laya. Nobody's lying here. <laughs> Behind the scenes. There ain't no lie. I'm not lying about anything because I can't find it. <laughs> now she's making behind the scenes funnier. <laughs> But y'all, I, I found some lies. Found I found some lies. Somebody lied to me three times. Okay, I, I found my lie. <laughs> Welcome back to Crazy and Lazy Goat Farm and More. Here on the farm, we've already done the chores, seen the fed biddies. And it's a very nice day. It's not raining today. Thank you, Lord. It's not that hot. It's not that hot. It's nice and stuff. And so today, I'm making soap, soap <laughs> for the keepers of Elway. And I like making hot press soap. That means I'm, you make it with some kind of hot, with heat, I mean. And I use my crock pots to make it. And then I use my, oh, I found my lie again, y'all. I make sure I use the food grade lye, mm -hmm. so it's not so harsh and stuff on your skin. <coughs> and I and know. Here's what company you buy. Yeah, I I can't find the company I used to buy, so I've been having to find it on different. They must went out of business. Or I just can't find them. But man, it's been about ten years since I made soap. Mm -hmm. But okay, I'm making what is called a four pound batch of soap today, and I'm using hot press. That means you put it on some kind of heat. That way, after it cools for a couple of days, it's ready to use. And it, uh, then the lye is not alive and it won't burn you. Okay, let me go over what I, I use. I use olive oil. I use, in the four pound batch, batch, I use one pound, eight ounces. Coconut oil, I use one pound, four ounces. And lard, I use one pound, four ounces. The reason I chose to use this is because I didn't want to have to order anything off the internet. I wanted to be able to go to the store and be able to buy what I need here and still paying shipping and handling everything. The only thing I bought, well, but some people said you want the evil. That's right. I wanted everything to be that you can put on you or in you. That and the only thing I bought offline is <coughs> lye, and I wanted Sorry, to do that because I wanted a food grade lot. So it would be, I mean, it still burns you if it touches your skin until it's diluted. It's a great item. You can make pretzels, huh? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So anyhow, and I used 9.2 ounces of, of lye, and I used 1 and 8 ounces, uh, 1 pound one and 8 ounces of water. Fat or super fat, I used castor oil, I used 4 tablespoons two tablespoons of glycerin, one teaspoon of, vit of vitamin E, and I used two ounces of coconut oil, and two ounces of shea butter, and two ounces of olive oil. And that gives it the super fat. You put the super fat in there after you cook it, because when you cook it, you cook all the nutrition out of it. So you've got to add it back in, so it'd be good for your skin. Now, if you wanted to, for the water, you can always add goat milk or yogurt or coconut milk. Which in my coconut one, I am going to do that. I'm going to put coconut milk in there. And that's a totally another thing. I'll have to show you how to do that. Totally good that math. It is. And so I'll probably use half water and half coconut oil. And your, and your essential oil, you use four tablespoons, I mean four ounces or four <coughs> four teaspoons of oil, essential oils. And so let's, and the number one thing you need is, I use my crock pots and your scales, because you've got to weigh everything out. So come on over here and we will weigh the stuff. Scale time! Scale. And you make sure you put your container on there and you zero it out, so it'd be zero. 
And I just went to Walmart and I bought the lard. So, and the lard, I always put the lard in there because it's the heart and it takes longer to melt. That's one pound, four ounces. So here we go. Y'all tell me when to stop. And I've already got the other two crock pots going. When you get through making this, your hands are so soft. It is. And it's hard to believe that fat will turn into soap. See, I went over one ounce. It got to take a little back. Aha, there we go. Coconut is one pound, four ounces. And right now I've got the crock pots on fire so they can so the oil can melt faster. Okay, on the olive oil you use one pound and eight ounces. And it doesn't matter if you use the green one or the yellow one. Okay, when you're doing just your oil and stuff, you can use your food, your containers that you're going to use for food. Like this is our measuring cup, and this is our spoon that we use every day. That's fine. But then when you come to lye, lye will stay in the container. So these crock pots, because I've used it before with soap, you cannot use these for anything. Little fairy, something funny happened today, didn't it? What funny happened? Is he a captain? No. Something happened to your life spoon. Oh yeah. <coughs> oh. We went outside to find the, the stuff and my life spoon has bites in it. I think Bo got my life spoon. We hope his son's okay. And he got my lie bucket. That I we my hope life. his son's okay. Yeah, but I'm sure it was because I already watered it down and everything. <coughs> yes. So no matter where, if you're going outside, make sure you take everything inside. Yes, because the lye, when it hits the water, it smells really strong. It puts on a nasty odor to kill you. Mm -hmm. So make sure when you do lye, excuse me, you go outside or in a well vented place to do your lye because it smells bad. Mm -hmm. The steam, it gets about 200 degrees and it can burn you. So make sure you wear protective gloves and eye protection when you work with light. And another thing, you measure out your life and may, I use, you can use a Dixie cup. For we guess throw it away. Yeah, so you can throw it away. All right, this ain't a Dixie cup, this is a solo, solo cup. And this is just an old jug that I use. And I'll end up throwing it away when I get through. And I borrowed her spatula, but she can't use it no more in food now. No. But this is the one I use. And this one is just an old one anyhow. So, but make but remember, lye can burn, so be very careful and try not to breathe in all the smells. And I like doing it out here because my house is so tight that it's closed off. So I have lined the table with paper towels and I put ceram wrap over my scales. So if a lie happens to fall, it will fall on the paper towels and not on the table. Because like I said, lie is very dangerous. Now water, we are doing, what kind of soap are we doing today? We're doing rosemary soap. 
she and loved the rosemary. And coconut and pine tar soap. Them old people from the old day. Rosemary, rosemary. I know, rosemary. So this is for the rosemary soap. Okay, nine, eight, and one pound and eight ounces. Here we go. Right on the money. Right. Now, like I said, when you do the lie, make sure you put on gloves. Because you don't never know when those little crystals is going to fall somewhere. And one little crystal can get under your fingernail and burn you like heck. <laughs> I know for a fact, because I didn't, I was just wiping up after I cleaned up, after I was cleaning. And one little gray, one little crystal fell. And I didn't know it, and it got on me. Man, I wanted to scream. I need He Man. Or he woman. All right, here we go. What happened to the entertainer? We couldn't open him. We have to wait for camera guy. He's the strong one. <laughs> okay, nine ounces. I mean, nine point two ounces. As many years as I've worked with this, I still... Uh. All right, when you do this, make sure you always pour your lye into the water. Here it goes. Pour it in there slowly. And remember, this has got a horrible fume to it that can take your breath away. Wind started blowing this way, so I moved out of its way. Okay, here's my live water, here's my oil, and you try to make sure your oil is all melted but they cool down and they've been cooling. And you pour this in. And right now I've got the crop pot turned off. And then you've got to take your stick blender and you merge it in here. And remember, lots of times when you turn your stick blender, it will splash up, so be very careful. So I turn it on low first to get the air out from underneath it. And then you got to turn, you got to keep it blending until it turns to trace. <coughs> and trace is when it looks where you can see where it's been. You can see where the, the blender's been. So we'll show you when it gets there. Is it doing it now? It's almost trace, but it's a light trace. It's still a volcano. No, not yet. The volcano is in a little fly here. No, it's a volcano. It's a volcano. Okay. Because it's bubbling up. We got a little fun to go. Okay, now if you watch it when I do it, you can see where the blender and stick me. And it's really thick now, it's kind of like banana pudding. Looks like banana pudding. Yeah, so see, you can see where the mixer's been. So now that's a heavy trace. So now, you turn it back on warm, and you close it up, and you wait. 
you wait for it through the volcano. That's right. And Number two volcano. I know. And then in a little while, it will start bubbling in on itself, and that's when it's ready. And that's when it was like a volcano. And we'll bring you back in a few minutes. Yep. We got to do these other ones. Yes. See y'all. Okay. On this one, I've got, I mixed up my live water, but instead of putting the a pound eight ounces, I divide it in half and put eight ounces and four ounces of water, and I put eight ounces, four ounces of coconut milk, which I got right here. Now I'm going to bring this to Trace. So I'll see you when I get this to Trace. Okay, I've got it in the light trace, so now I'm going to add my coconut milk in here a little at a time. And I do my goat milk the same way when I do it, that way my goat milk don't burn. I've tried freezing my goat milk and it was still burned. I've tried to put it in there just cold and burned. And, but I figured out this way. This is just my way to doing it. Everybody has their own different styles. But I figured this way my goat milk and coconut milk don't burn. <laughs> mixed up and it's in a tray so put the lid back on it and turn it on warm. And if you can see this one over here is starting to bubble. It's going to start the volcano. Okay, look at this one. It's starting a volcano in the middle. So you know what that means? Do you know what that means? No, she don't know what that means. She hasn't got a microphone on. How can she know what it means? My spoon was oily. Wonder why my spoon was oily. Can you figure out why my spoon was oily? Well, I gotta, gotta tell a secret. Look over here on this one. It went over. <clears throat> this one right here is volcano in the middle, like it's supposed to, not like that one did. And that means it's ready almost. See, it's turning pretty and white. It's got to come a little more gel, look like Vaseline. It's almost there. All right. But look at this one. It's already Vaseline. So get, you know what that means? It means it's ready. See how it looks like Vaseline. Most of these days don't know what ma Vaseline looks like. All right. <laughs> Little fairy got tired. And I'm going to pour the scents mm -hmm. and our oils and stuff. That's what we're going to do. The super fat. The super fat. Tree, tree, everyone. Okay. Four tablespoons of castor oil. This big bottle yeah. to make you really, really. If you drink this whole bottle, you really, really got to go. You and you might get diarrhea. Cause that's what castor oil is for. This one. That's the table. Okay, we're back. She said two of these, didn't she? Four. No, she said four. Four. You better count with me, because I don't know how to count. That's one. Spray 
all the stuff out. Same one. Just have two of these. One. Two. Again. What are we going to do? We're going to scrape everything out. That's good. You can get it. Jamba. It was like coffee bean. It was like coffee bean. I thought it was coffee. Two ounces again, she says. Tell me someone, it's not good with numbers. Two ounces. It'll come out fast, she said. Some more. Now, take it over there. There's a 
Little bit. Little bit. And stir it all in. Stir it all in. Here we go. You told me, small bow. That's what she told me, everyone. Small bow. I can see it there. I gotta get all the oil inside. So. Until you don't see no more oil. Does it look little fairy? She says keep on stirring. Whew. The more oil you put in it, more heavier. Harder it is to stir. to paper to lie. to line. She says a whole bottle. It smells like coconut. Well, it smells too, yeah. Bye bye, whole bottle. If you can talk, you say, ah! Anyone didn't understand why we're called Crazy Lizzie? This is why we're called Crazy Lizzie. What you doing? I am lining, these are some old uh, molds that Chris made for me a long time ago. I took parsley paper, cut it in half, and it felt folded in half, line it up with this side, line it up with this side. Yeah. Like I said, I want to do everything at home, not buy a whole bunch of stuff. Boy, that coconut smells good. Makes me hungry for some drink from coconut or something other. Ah! You have those days when you get tired and nothing don't want to turn out. That's what I feel like now. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> what did we put in here? <coughs> we put all our super fats in there. We put our glycerin, mm -hmm. our vegetable oil, and glycerin. <coughs> Trees. Tea, tea tree oil. And be pear when you put that stuff in there. I know, it's strong. And we put our, what else did we put in there? Oh, I can't remember. Vitamin E. And coconut oil and olive oil and the jojo, juju, where I to pronounce that oil. And that's my coffee. Yes, but it's supposed to be good for your skin. And then we put a half a cup of oatmeal in there. And we put two tablespoons of hot, real honey and two tablespoons of yogurt. And man, it smells good. It smells like, it smells like, like honey. honey. And this one's supposed to be really good for dry honey skin. Honey bear. Honey bear? Okay, we'll call it honey bear. This one's Bears supposed to be good for honey. eczema and dry skin. Y'all like honey bear again? Leave comments. That's right. Or y'all got good at names. Here's my helper over here bringing me a glass of tea. Yay, helpers. Wonderful husbands. Thank you.
Oh, that's so good. Sweet tea twice a day. Keep sadness away. away. And I told Little Fairy, I wish I had a cake bowl with... with like a bubble wrap. Yeah, to make it look like honey cone. I know. Not good enough? No, don't leave nothing. And then she asked, do we have any bubble wrap? So I said, no. Nah. Because bubble wrap says the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oatmeal on it, it'll make it pretty too. Okay, bang it up and down on the table. Oh, God. Like you're making a cake. Yeah. And your thing come undone again. I know, none of that tape's working. We're going to have to get some different kind of tape. You gotta push it in so it'll stay. Because you don't. That's one thing bad about with a uh, hot press, it don't stay unless you push it in. And it does burn, but a little. A little bit. It's already cold. But it's not. The, the, la the lye has already been cooked out now, so it's, it's not hot. It's just heat. Yeah, it's just heat. Because if you wanted to, you can go ahead and use it now. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to call this one what? Honey bear. Honey bear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. So we've made three different kinds of soap today with y'all. And we've got the coconut soap, we've got the rosemary, and the uh, coconut, coconut, uh, oatmeal. 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 Honey, honey bear. Yeah, honey bear. But anyhow, come over here. Come over here? Yes. So I know this is going to be a long video, but ain't no telling how she's going to fix it. Our camera guy is going to Africa. He's going to leave us. But that's okay. He that's needs okay. To go. God says he's going to go to Africa. He's going to go to Africa. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But anyhow, you ready? Ready. Please like. Like. Subscribe. Leave comments. What you did with your name of soap. Yes. And any other ideal, any other kind of soap you would like to make. Uh -huh. And if you see anything I should do different, let me know. Say it kindly, please. Yes. Yes, and please share our videos with other people. Yep. And best of all, y'all, remember that Jesus is with us and he's keeping us safe. <coughs> and he's going to watch over us and and just give us a beautiful day today that makes sense. And it's been a wonderful time. My daughter, God's God given me. Yep. I've had such an awesome day. And don't forget that wonderful guy that brought me tea. He's so awesome. Mm -hmm. So, my favorite part. <laughs>